Hello and welcome to Daily Bites, and today we're playing Colats, I think you say it. That's just a weird world. Anyways, I have never played this game before, I've seen videos and it looks kind of confusing. So I might get lost. <laughs> it looks like a giant open map and you have to go around finding things and articles. Anyways, with that said, let's begin. It is loading. Colat is loading. Hopefully I'm saying it correctly, if not, just say in the comments below. <laughs> White screen, okay. It's bright. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains, a group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Otorten Mountain. Okay. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. Hmm. It sounds kind of familiar. <laughs> On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Yes, Further examination well. revealed it was cut from inside yeah, out. I heard this before. The surrounding this footprints the indicated story. the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw two months later to enable the rescue team to find the yeah, rest of the victims. In, near river, the last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin yeah, color. This is based on a Much story. speculation arose from these puzzling events. I'll link in the Such theories so included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche, or yeah, animals. There's a movie based on it as well. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The movie is a little bit far fetched, but the truth I bet it's behind be this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. <laughs> I'm going to move my microphone really slightly. Happened. Maybe the answer still well. waits to be discovered, deep under the snow. I move my microphone every time I'm not recording. So it's never in the right place. Act 1, okay. Let's do an act. Okay. I take it, I need to get on the train. Can I get on the train? No. Yeah. Wow, that's bright. Do I walk this way? One second, we'll change my sense because it feels kind of... Let's just drop it down to all medium. No, not low. There we go. That's better. I heard this game had a bit of frames problem with some people's PCs. Okay, so where am I going? Can't go that way. 
I'll just follow the road, yeah. <laughs> Don't mean to go this way. No idea. Am I literally just gonna run out into this now alone? <laughs> Let's just go. Let's just run out into the snow. There's no like cases to go. The music's kind of creepy. Where am I going? <laughs> I put it was like in the tree station. Makes you turn around because you hear weird stuff. I swear there must have been something I needed to find. Those trees are creepy. Let's go that way. Are you coming to me? Are you coming to me? Where are you? Okay. Okay, I feel kind of lost, but I'm not sure. Great. In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash. I was kind of right away. Damn. Burning light. The pain ripping apart my body. I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. I welcomed the end with delight. Well, wow, that's positive. I'm gonna die. Ah, this is smile. Okay, it's too bright. I'm putting the. Uh, I don't know where it is though. Game. Prentice. Zero, I guess. Nope, still can't see. Let's look at the ground. I can just about see the ground, so it's like a Can I get up? Can I run at least? Like crawl past them? Yeah, okay. I have no idea which way I have to go. I'm just gonna crawl in this direction. Am I running to a the camper? Cool, I'll run the right direction. <laughs> I am right behind you. Um No you're not. <laughs> He's gonna rape me. Okay, it's loading already. So I got lost in the woods and I found my way by getting lost. It felt kind of weird. I just started running from the train station. There was no, no story there. There wasn't no people in the town. Act two. Okay. Have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity? Um, 
No. Others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will. No, I'm an alien, okay. When they told you that you were a monster. Yeah. That deserved punishment. Yeah, sometimes. And you could really not remember your sins. When they took away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. Yeah, it sounds like my life. The problem is, it's in their darkness. You have never been alone. The fuck? <laughs> I take it I need to follow the little prince. Does that actually help me? Don't. Um, left or straight? No, straight. I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. Mm -hmm. I arrived at Vichai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometre and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 metres and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. Mm -hmm. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. Like the rock kind of looks like heads. Ah, okay, okay. I'm glad I moved. So I'll take it, I'm like, in the middle. Like that. Okay, I saw two things run, one that way and one that way. Okay, I'm going to pick this way first. So weird markings on the floor. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Which way? That way, maybe? That's the, that's the biggest route.
Okay. It's like all creaking sounds. Yeah, it's loading. Okay. Trying to figure out where I am on the map. Hmm, okay. So in the movie version, the creatures were aliens, which came through like a portal thing. And then I guess in this one, the aliens do. And in the news reports, yeah, there were no like, nothing told where it was, but they just left it as an open case. Which is great. <laughs> great for movies and games, I guess. There's another one of those weird posts. It's I think this is where the campers ran. I'm gonna change the sounds a little bit more because that fog is making me lag. <laughs> Maybe that. Oh no, that turns it off. I don't know. If. Fog's still here, so if I change it to, I'm so bad at this guys, but I need to make sure <laughs> that it's going to be good for you guys to watch, Let's put that on, put it on higher, texture quality, put it on medium, yeah, don't really need shallows, okay, alright, I died. The fuck? I changed my settings. Leave me alone. Okay. Let's go this way again. 
And I'll be quicker so I won't stop. I think this could be the ball of light going through the woods. <laughs> See it, great. I'm not sure what the point of the torch is. So I can see. <laughs> I didn't get a whirlwind that way, didn't I? Try and ruin the whirlwind. Yeah, it was this way. That way. Because that weird post. Okay, let's go down here again. I can't be able to die in my first attempt at this. Okay, that's the second post. So I died in the gas because an alien can we? Moments we go now. Oh shit, gas is flowing. Right? It's gonna load. We discovered the first bodies by the pine trees. A makeshift campfire suggested they tried to warm up. The bodies were only in underwear. I decided to thoroughly search the area between the tent and the tree line. I discovered the other bodies every few hundred meters apart. The position indicated the victims attempted to return to the tent as fast as they could. This could mean that the threat was gone and the group decided to go back to the tent, or just the opposite. Someone or something appeared from the forest and forced its victims to run. At this point, it is difficult to determine what exactly happened. 
I have collected small samples from all bodies for further research at the unit's laboratory. I discussed the situation with the rest of the rescue team and afterwards they focused on the visual inspection of the tent and areas by the trees and I entered the forest. This is kind of freaky. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so he entered the forest. So that's the tree. That's where I ran from, wasn't it? So I think I ran from... I'm well confused. Um, I started there, I think. And I was facing this way, because that's my camp. So I ran that way. And I must have run through the forest. Okay. Ask me to go back. Oh, great. Am I running? <laughs> okay, let me alone. Man, the thing was weird looking. So he went into the forest, he said. Okay. Getting stuck. I got that way or no? Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay. At least the gas is gone. Okay, so this sticks to the path. <laughs> Here we go.
I kind of feel like I went that way actually. Because I feel like I'm here. So maybe I need to turn around and go that way. There's no marker for me, that sucks. Okay, back to the river. And that way. And that way. Okay, let's go this way. The torch does like nothing. <laughs> so yeah, I'll link the like news articles about this in the description below. As it's based on a true story, I'll let you guys to actually know that. Because it makes the game more creepy. <laughs> No, it's based on and then they like extended it like Chainsaw Massacre. It's based on the true story but they extended it so much that it has nothing to do with the original anymore. So yeah, there's like frozen river there, so that's so that's there. And the marker things are around it, so I've been here before. So I'll run this way. Go back to our ward I need to watch out for that weird ghoul thing. Yeah, my energy's low. So when your energy goes low, you go blurry vision. Okay. Yeah, it's a creepy train. Have um, Yeah, I need to run the opposite direction. And don't go near the ghoul. Yeah, that's the difference. going now. <laughs> kind of. He said it goes, he went into the forest, but the forest is everywhere. Because, yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, it's that way. So. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll try not to make this video too long. So the forest is completely burnt and ruined. And it's one of those, great. <laughs> I really don't like those things. <laughs> the part like transparency you can barely see them. See the close enough. straight <laughs> I 
Yep, yes we have. in the sky bright orange sphere across the sky about to see several times it's impossible for any flying object we know to move like that okay so like ball lightning okay So I'll take it, I'll go back to the weird stone place. Maybe. Man, his breathing is so weird. At least I kind of know where I am now. Um. That's the letter I just picked up, so I'm like here. I'm gonna head back to the tree because I'm guessing not tree, the stone thing. So I'm guessing I'm done with this side. And in the movie, they when they go camping, sort of thing, strange things happen, but they keep going back to the camp. So I'm guessing I might need to keep going back to the camp. So it might be based on the movie more than the true event. Okay, so I'm out in the middle of the ice. lights in the sky so I'm guessing that's where I need to go now even though it's red and orange That's orange. Oh, uh, yellow. I'm just gonna go with this direction. <laughs> that's a weird side, but that does look interesting. And that's. And that's down. No, we're going this way. That's this way. back to my camp and go sleep. <laughs> I really don't understand why it does that. You run and your vision goes blurry. It's like, how does that work? Your vision and your legs have nothing to do with you. It's perfect, like a seatbelt. 
Okay, cool. You are remarkable, just like me. But you are losing your mind, my friend. You're slipping slowly into the abyss, and there is no one to give you a hand. And at the bottom, I am the only one waiting for you. At the bottom. So if I'm coming down here, I think. Turn me this way, so that way. I'm just guessing those are hints. Is this snowstorm ever gonna end? Okay guys, I'm going to end the video there today, as it's a pretty long video already. So please like and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Please put in the comments if you want to see me continue playing this, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.